What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Supper Club. My name is Sammy Dabdu. On today's episode, we're going to be going over five modern cars that can make you look rich for under 30,000. So we're gonna keep it short and sweet. First up is a 2008 Aston Martin V8 Vantage. The Aston Martin brand is already something that screams opulence and luxury. However, the 2008 Vantage is a modern looking sports car that still looks incredibly good and modern for its age. If you saw a 2008 Aston Martin Vantage in front of you, you could not, unless you're a real enthusiast, tell what year that car is from. It looks like it's a 2018 or 17, and it definitely looks extremely expensive. And I found an example that's going online for 28.5. Now, like any other luxury or high-end exotic vehicle, you're going to want to get a pre-purchase inspection. Also, do not buy this car if you do not have any extra savings after you buy it. You're going to want to keep a few thousand dollars saved away just for emergency maintenance and repairs. And trust me, on an Aston Martin Vantage, those repairs can add up really quick. Next up, the 2006 Bentley Flying Spur. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's just the four-door model of the two-door Bentley GT. The Flying Spur is the mid-size sedan, if you will. It is comparable to the Rolls-Royce Ghost. Make no mistake, this is a full-size sedan. Uh, it is a car that you get driven in, not necessarily that you drive. I mean, you can drive it, but you wanna be driven in a flying spur. Now, this car looks incredible, just like the Aston Martin. Even though it's an 06, it looks extremely modern and really luxurious. You will definitely look rich driving a flying spur. Now, I also found an example, has 83,000 miles on it for 28.9, just under 29,000. Like the Aston Martin, you're gonna to wanna to get a pre-purchase inspection. Do not buy this car if you're squeezing out every penny just to buy it. You're gonna wanna buy it, you're gonna wanna maintain it, do the dealer recommended service. If you can, you'll probably save a couple bucks doing the oil changes yourself, but get the recommended service because these engines are not cheap. They're somewhere upwards of twenty to $30,000 if you can find them. Next up, the 2014 Maserati Ghibli SQ4. I found a nice looking example with only 31,900 miles on cars.com for $20,000. It appears to be a clean title, but it doesn't matter. You can find a ton of these for under 30,000 in that year. Now you can watch the Doug DeMuro video where he did an in-depth review on why Maserati fell short with that model Ghibli. However, if you're looking for a car that performs really well and drives really nicely, but also carries that luxury brand name, look no further than the Maserati Ghibli. Next up, one of the most underrated luxury cars is the 2012 Jaguar XJ. I found a really clean example that has 60,000 miles on it for just a dollar under 17,000. This car is a modern luxury vehicle. It looks like a brand new car if you were to see it driving by on the road today. It has the screen inside the dash, so a fully digital tachometer, odometer, uh, fuel gauge. It has a nice center control stack with a large screen as well, and just modern design and elegance. You also have the panoramic sunroof, and it's a really nice color in white with the black roof, but you can pick one of these up really cheap. But again, just like all the other vehicles, with these ultra luxury or high-end vehicles, you're gonna to wanna to get an inspection done. I know I've said that a lot, but seriously, get that inspection done. I've been burned before. The last and final car is a car that will definitely make you look baller and is very rarely found under 30,000. I found a 2005 G500 4Matic, a G-Wagon for under 30 grand. Now these things have bottomed out on depreciation. They don't get a whole lot lower than 30 grand. So this is actually a great investment buy. 99% of cars depreciate, and that is a liability. So whenever you get the opportunity to get buy a car that'll hold its value or potentially appreciate in value, that's a great buy. And this G500 is an incredible buy. Yes, it has 121,000 miles on it, but it has the five liter V8 from Mercedes that is nearly indestructible. It's the same motor that's in my 
S550. And I'm telling you guys, this car will last forever. So thank you guys for checking out my list. There were so many other cars that you can get for under 30,000, but this, in my opinion, is the creme de la creme. And when we're looking for opulence and high-end luxury, look no further than these five cars. I'm interested in hearing about your opinion and what cars you found for under 30,000 that make you look baller. Put those below. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. Until next time, on the Supper Club.